just a reminder, you can catch me recording this podcast live on AMP. AMP is a new live radio app that lets you call in and chat with me in person while recording. Get the app on Apple's App Store and make sure you follow me at John Middlecoff to get notified when I go live. Another big story, I'm sure you've seen around the league, some of these guys getting suspended for gambling. Mm -hmm. And uh, I I think there was a recent story last week that either a rookie around the league, the name hadn't come out that had lost like $8 million. Because technically, I think you guys are allowed to gamble on other sports, just not football. I think there are a lot of people screaming out on the internet whether it's fair or not because the NFL's in bed now with these gambling companies. Though, through the salary cap, you benefit the revenue the players do, right? It gets distributed. But first and foremost, do you feel pretty knowledgeable every single year with the Pittsburgh Steelers? They talk pretty you know, specifically about the do's and don'ts when it comes to gambling, especially now that it's legal. Yeah, you know, we have security meetings every year since I've been in the league and we talk about, you know, gambling, uh, not being in a sports book, all, you know, I feel like the rules do change a little bit with, you know, how much um, gambling is part of our league now. Yeah. Um, But, you know, some of these stadiums have sports books in them now, which is wild. (laughs) I know it's wild. (laughs) You know, I talked to some of my friends and they're like, they show me like the basketball side of it. And I'm like, Guys, this is way too much. Like you're 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 looking for triple doubles, you're looking for, you know, him him to hit these points. And then, you know, you start hearing about um all the different, you know, options they have along with it. I just if if you want to remain clean in it, just don't do it at all. You know, I think we're we're paid handsomely for what we do, but um, you know, I know I understand we're competitive in everything we do, but when you start messing with the the gambling side, it becomes very wonky and, you know, exposes yourself up to, you know, a whole lot of stuff that's not good for our league. Do you have any problem with the NFL doing business with these companies and then kind of mandating it to the players? You can't gamble clearly on your own team. But even if you wanted to gamble, one thing a guy got in trouble for was making a college bet from the facility, I, I think it's one of the Lions guys. So he wasn't even gambling on the NFL. He was just gambling on a college game, which some could say he was a rookie. He still knows guys, you know, that are playing in college. Maybe, you know, quarterbacks out or something inside information. I think technically they're very sensitive about that type of stuff. So that's a little bit different. I think, you know, when you look at the NFL, you're like, uh, you're allowed to gamble and literally look at the product as it going. I can't gamble on a college game that I have no out. I have no desired outcome that I don't have any insider information, but I just, um, you know, it, it's, it's such a tight rope to walk and, you know, the rules are ever changing, but I guess we're exposing ourselves up to that with having, you know, the casinos and having different, you know, um, you know, different, streams of revenue in our game and so you have to it's just we have to keep our eyes and ears open because you know it's speaking to the crowd not just one person before gambling became so prevalent as a player it's not like you're locked into we're a 10 point underdog or we're a five point favorite right so when people would ask you that specifically probably the media or even a buddy like you're a big underdog did you even know what that meant specifically to the line John, I, I kid you not. They brought it up on my podcast, and I was like, what are y'all talking about? I'm worried about the W. I don't give a damn about what the point spread is. Or got cover, bro. <laughs> bro, you, they tried to say, hey, say this. Like, you know, you know, say you're an underdog. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. Like, I don't ever believe I'm an underdog. And, you know, you can sit up there and look at what Vegas does, but that's just not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's a story clearly not going to go away just because every year it seems like younger players, you know, a little probably you've been in it long enough and heard seen it all. Yeah. Some of these younger guys are just going to you get money for the first time. Well, NILs I think changing the game, right? I mean, you just didn't you just draft a guy from Georgia? I think he, you know, he's not he's not coming in broke. Yeah, uh, GP uh, I think all all the Georgia guys never never had to worry about, you know, no. a meal or anything. So, I think they were Pretty well suited going into the league. Well, I'll get you out here on this. You got a rookie scouting report on your uh, on your first round offensive lineman. 
you know, I, I love his, I love his tenacity. He's got a good body. Um, you know, he's able to move well, quick feet. Um, and there's just things he's going to keep working on. Um, I don't like to, you know, gas a rookie and just give him all the keys to the car, but, uh, he, he's, he's setting himself up nice and, you know, he's going to be a big player, uh, down the road. In general, with the draft class, I mean, you're with one of the teams that's probably known in all of sports as one of the best drafting, you know, organizations, top to bottom, any position. Do you have a good idea right away, or do you have to see in pads or even preseason games before you feel confident, like telling a buddy or telling an assistant coach, like, I think we got some, or we might have some problems here? O line, or just, you know, when you really look in the trenches, I look at games. And, you know, in pads, because, you know, there's plenty of guys who are, you know, underwear. Look heroes. sweet standing there. Yeah. yeah like you, you start doing that cute stuff and then somebody hits you in their face and then you just completely just can't do anything after. I, I think that says a lot about you being able to see how you react to certain situations really tells us if you're ready for those moments. So we'll we'll see what we got in preseason. Um, and then, you know, you, when you really put the pads on and you're in those bright light moments and you've got a guy injured and you step in, are you ready for that moment? Are you ready to seize that? Um, one thing Coach T always says, one man's misfortune is, is another man's treasure. And so that's just about seizing that moment and really understanding this might be my only moment. i got to make the most out of it. Do you have a calendar that you mark X every single day with that circled training camp day one starting? I got, I got to check into Latrobe or are you at that age yet? You know, where you're like kind of peaking or has that always been something in the back of your mind? I, I think it glooms, but you know, in my mind, I'm just, I'm taking it day by day, you know, I'll, I'm working on my craft and just embracing the grind I'm on right now. Um, you know, I feel like, you know, you can start at the beginning of the, the season, the off season and just, you know, get to this moment and be like, oh, man, you know, time has passed by. It's right around the corner. But there is a lot of work that can go into play that I'm just looking forward to hitting right now. Yeah, well, uh, stay healthy. Have a good have a good summer. And I, I think I speak for everyone. Week one, Niner Steelers. You talk about an old school, some bodies getting hit. That's I already got that bad boy circled. I, I can't wait. That's one of the yeah. best, it's got to be one of the better games of the first week. Dude, two good defenses. They're just going to, you know, have it out. And so I'm looking forward to it. Well, good luck this uh, upcoming season. I look forward to watching you guys play. Appreciate you. Thank you for having me on.